Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to the Only Build channel on YouTube for NBA 2K with no clickbait builds. Ant Lives the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. New subscribers, I see you guys coming through and rolling through. Just know this, you're going to come to find out that I got your back and to the channel game. Thank you guys also for your support. You already know I got your back. This right here marks my one, no, my, I said my 100th, my 319th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am by far the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 319 builds only prove that fact. This right here is a two-way playmaker. He is bad. He is fast. He can jump. He can score. He can ball handle. He can do it all. He is a pure demigod. Watch this. Now, we're going to go right here with the two-thirds shooting, the one-fourth finishing, the one-fourth, I mean, the one-eighth playmaking, and the one-eighth defensive uh, skill breakdown pie chart. Now, I came a couple of places. I came to pure speed. I didn't go here. I didn't go here, of course. Then I came to this, and I came down here. So, I, you know, the balance pie chart, the speed in vertical, and the pure speed, and I like the pure speed better. All right? Now, not nothing on this close shot. Sorry about that. We're going to go all the way up on this driving layup. We're going to go all the way up on this driving dunk. We're going to bring a standing dunk to 65. All right? That's it. We're just going to go to 65. Now, we're going to bring his post hook, but we're going to take one off his post hook, and we're going to bring that to 84. Now, all the way up on his mid-range. We're going to go all the way up on his three-point shot. Now, we're going to come back to free throw, all right? Now, we're going to go all the way up on his pass accuracy. We're going to go all the way up on his ball handle, and then we're going to come to... 47 on his uh, post control. All right, and you already know we got the 10, of course. That's mandatory. And if you don't know what the 10 is, that is the slasher takeover. If this is one of your first times watching my video, or if it's the first time watching my video, the slasher takeover is the most powerful takeover in the game. And whenever you're united, you're going to get a 10 of your physicals, a 10 of your finishing, a 5 to your shooting, a 10 of your ball handle, a 5 to your pass accuracy, a 5 to your post control, a 5 to your defensive rebounding categories. But when you're united at 99 overall with this build right here, whew, it's uh, it's over. It's a it's ball game. Now, I see something. All right. Do I go up and get? Okay, I can only get 17 regardless. So we're gonna drop that down to 70. And then what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the rest right here on his block. We're gonna put 34 on his block. And then right here, we're gonna go with the offensive uh, rebound. We're just gonna give him a 30 offensive rebound. Okay. Now. That's going to give the build a total of what we got here. Let me see if I can get another defensive. No, we can't because we got to have 17. So we can't get uh, any more on our defensive uh, badges. Now, this build is going to have a total of 49 badges. It can defend. It can ball handle. It can shoot. And it can finish inside. It's a demigod two-way playmaker. All right. Now, we're going to go with solid. We're going to drop him to 6'4", and then we're going to bring his weight all the way back, all right? E no, 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 Make sure of this first. All right, we're going to bring him to 6'3". My fault. We're going to bring him to 6'3". But what we're going to do, we're going to bring him up a little bit. We're going to bring him to 173. All right, we're going to bring him to 173. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring his wingspan all the way out to 84.0. So you already see the numbers. You already know we got the 10, which is the size to take over. So you know it's going to be ultra fast. You know he's going to be able to jump. He's going to have the acceleration. He's got the ball handle. He has the defense and the finishing. Now, at 99 overall, we got to 
plus one on the close shot. So we're going to recite it. You're going to have a 68 close shot. That's great uh, for a point uh, for a shooting guard because he isn't tall. He's six three, so that's great for a six three shooting guard to have a 68 close shot. And then 99 overall, when you and I decide to take over, that's going to be a 78. So when you get hot, you know you have a 78. Uh, Close shot at 99 overall when you and I decide to take over. Now, your driving layup will be at 88. So you're going to be able to get Kyrie Irving's uh, layup package with this build. And at 99 overall when you and I decide to take over, that's going to be a 98. Now, your driving dunk will be a 80. So you're going to be able to get an assortment of dunk packages with this build. And when you and I decide to take over 99 overall, that's going to be a 90. Your standing dunk will be a 58 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 68 now you're going to be able to hit hook shots post hooks on your defender because you're going to have a 90 post hook and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a over the cap of 99 and will be 100 that's deadly now you got an 80 you already have an 82 mid-range shot so you're consistent from the mid-range area but at 99 overall, that's going to be an 86. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 91 mid-range shot. Now, your three-pointer will be at 84. You're consistent from the three-point line. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 89 and 99 overall. Now, your free throw will be a 74 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 79. So you're going to hit that free throw as well. You're going to get your and ones. Now, your pass accuracy will be a 83 and 99 overall and when you and Knight decides to take over that will be a 88 and now look at your ball handle because you're already a dribble guy but and you're going to be able to speed boost go get that Steve Nash uh well I can't remember what combination signature dribble move it is but make sure you put the Steve Nash on this build but your ball handle will be at 84 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 94 ball handle. So basically, you're going to be unstrippable when you get hot at 99 overall. You can take this building upstairs on the top deck, pro Ram, Annie up, Rhett. You're going to dominate with this build because of this. we're going to get to the physicals. Now, ooh, this build. Now, you're going to have a post control of 47 at 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 52 now your lateral your perimeter defense will be a 81 i mean a 82 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 87 your lateral quickness will be a 77 at 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 82 now you're still you're already a pickpocket but you're going to have a steal at of 87 at 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 92 that whew, this man once you get the steal you run it down the court you see the speed you're dunking you're going to do whatever you want to do you can pull up for the three if you want to you don't have to even go inside and dunk now your block will be a 38 at 99 overall and when you're a knight the slash to take over that will be a 53 that's great that is great for this build. Now, your defensive rebound will be a 30. I mean, your offensive rebound will be a 34 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 39. And then you're going to have still a six. I mean, I, I said a still. Like I said, when I ramble, y'all, I'm excited about a build. Trust me. Now, your defensive rebound will be a 69 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 74. Now, the great thing about this build is what the slash of takeover is going to do for it and how it's going to make it really go over the top at 99 overall when you ignite the slash of takeover because you're going to get an 18-point jump. And there's four ways to get the fours. One is the Gatorade facility, level 40, winning the NBA championship, and getting a 99 overall. So, at 99 overall, you're going to have a speed of 97. Fast for a two-guard. And when you ignite the slash and takeover, that's going to go over the cap of 99 and be 107. Your acceleration will be 94 at 99 overall. And when you ignite the slash to take over, that will go over the cap of 99 as well. It will be 104. Now your vertical will be at 81 and 99 overall. And when you ignite the slash to take over, that's going to jump to 91. And then you're going to have a strength of 50 at 99 overall. And when you ignite the slash to take over at 99 overall, that will be a 60. So, like I said, this build right here is unique. He's going to be a hard guard. I don't know what they're going to be able to do with you with this build. You're going to create and cause a lot of damage out of the shooting guard position.
Alright Now like I said We're going to take the size to take over And the reason why I wouldn't take shot creator Because it's only going to give you a five day physicals It's not bad But it's going to hurt your finishing A lot And you basically you can do this from the seat of your chair That's the R3 With the shot stick Spot up Hey I'm open Is it important Playmaking You're only going to get tens to your uh, playmaking categories but this right here this affects so much on the game your physicals your finishing and your ball handle all get tens slash your takeover is the way to go with this build right here you see him his hands is up he's throwing up the signs let's go I'm the man you hear him yo yo you see him you see him yeah only at Ant Lives the channel And there you have it. Two-way playmaker. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. Now I'm going to test the build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you guys why I placed the badges if I were to use this build. All right. Limitless take off. Un okay. We're going to make sure because he does have that layup and you will be going against big guys. So Giant Slayer and Fearless Finisher are perfect. I got 17. We're, I'm going to use the real shot meter way for this build right here. Not the real shot meter, but shot timing and the shot meter. So a guy asked me, Do I use sniper? Why don't I use sniper? Well, what I usually do and what I usually say is uh, I'm going to use real player shooting percentage. You guys that use shot timing and the shot meter, you already know where to go. So I do have builds that do, do have shot timing. And I do use this uh, sniper. All right. Now I'm going to take that off. I'm going to go with blinders, mismatch expert. Could go Green Machine, but basically this is Green Machine, without a doubt. That's basically Green Machine, but I'm going to go Hot Zone Hunter. And then I got one more. I'm not going to mess anything up. I'm just going to go, I'll go Clutch Shooter, because that works. That's going to show up. All right. Now, I got 15 Playmaker badges. Of course, Unpluckable. Of course, Quick First Step. He's super fast. We're going to go Silver on the downhill. Mm, no, we're going to go ahead and do that. Quick chain, hyper drive, and then I am going to go one on downhill because he does have a 97 speed and he is fast. He's already fast. All right. Now, well, I'm going to come with this. And I'm going to go silver on the quick first step. No, I would go that. But I'm going to go with triple threat juke. Being the fact that the build is so fast and you have the quick first step, you're going to be able to take your opponent off the ball either side the one is up the three is under the two is over and it goes vice versa two over three under one up whenever you use this right here in the being the fact that this build is so fast you're going to explode out of your quick first step you're going to take him off the dribble and he's already going to be on the opposite side of your shoulder but when you get him to 99 overall but before that you probably get more fouls but you will beat him off the dribble. But when you're at 99 overall, you're going to blow him off the dribble and you're going to score on him. All right? And you might get an and one because if you ignite the slice to take up with this, you got a 60 strength. So this is where this will really come in for you. Like I said, you can take this build upstairs. It's going to dominate down it, down in the pro-am, any up or rec. It's going to hold its own, and there's no debating that. Now, we got five defensive uh, badges. All right, we're just going to go chase down. You gotta have chase down. I'm not gonna go with pickpocket. You could go with pickpocket. You you can. And I will with this one. I'm really not gonna sweat the rebound on this one. If I had like a 70 rebound, I would go for it. But it's gonna get his rebounds anyway, because it's at the two guard. You're just gonna have to crash the boards. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go rim protector. I'm gonna go rim protector one. Alright, just rim protector one, just to go along with that chase down. Then I'm going to go Intimidator, Silver, and then I'll go Pickpocket. 
you already have a high steal. You really don't need pickpocket with this build, but it will add a little bit more to it. Just a little bit more. But trust me, you your steal is already high. You can play the passing lanes, be a self in you could you could be the uh, play the passing lanes and be a self made interceptor and you can steal the ball. All you gotta do is be on the opposite side of the ball. So if you really don't want pickpocket, you can go with gold intimidator. That works great because you do have three point shooters, you do have a vertical, and you do have rim protect. So that will show up. And there you have it. Only at Ant Lives and Channel. Now do you have a two-way playmaker at the shooting guard position that will have a 97 speed and 99 overall with a 94 acceleration, an 81 vertical, 17 shooting badges where you're going to be able to get four Hall of Fame badges. You know his jumper is automatic. And then you're going to have 12 fin uh, finishing badges where you know you can go inside the hole and finish. And then you got 15 playmaking badges where you're going to be able to work and do damage off of the dribble. And then you do have five defensive badges to back you up and help you out on defense. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, this is 319 builds for you guys. You already know I got your back. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the only build channel on YouTube for NBA 2K with no clickbait builds. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 319 builds this year alone only prove that fact. And without anything being further being said, I am.